something else, and you should keep to your work. Sometimes and then high school, so they don't really set people up for college. They just kind of set them up for like, hey, here's a menial job. Do it. So you can follow instructions, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? He's an intruder! His cries fell on deaf ears. Ah, let's call it before it actually happens. I like how he pulls out a little knife. It's like, wow, you seem like a formidable fighter. Let me pull out my little pocket knife to uh, handle this situation. <laughs> and again, this is a tutorial level, so it's supposed to like teach you like the uh, basics of the game. Also, being a train yard, this has been. Excellent place for a boss fight. Just saying. That's like a that's like an uncommon thing. That happens in a lot of Assassin's Creed games where it's like you go through all these I mean you go to all these awesome locations where it's like, man, this would be an awesome place to have a fight in, right? And the devs never really do anything with it. <laughs> Except for uh I think it was in Revelations when you fought the Genisari. And there's like this like one temple or like a yeah, there's like a temple they were in. And if you actually had like a, an assistant with you. Yeah, basically you have a fight inside the temple and it looks like all epic and crap. There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. Finish him! So we have wall bounces, combos, OTGs, man. X Factor, she looks it up. <laughs> Apparently, we are 63 minutes into the session. Currently, 63 minutes into the session. Danger! You know, I'm kind of surprised that they have these signs here. <laughs> it's like, you don't really give a shit about your uh, your child workers, but uh, with the adults, they're like, hey, this is dangerous. <laughs> so I'm guessing those signs kind of say for any, say, you know, the corporation from any potential lawsuits. So, hey, you might want to wear your hard hat in this area. Why? Because uh, sometimes things fall. <laughs> also, nice lightning effects. Here we know I think I'll only see it once in a game. <laughs> Other than that, it's just rainy. Just rain, 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 rain everywhere. Please step into the elevator. Oh, my God, they're back. <laughs> Helix points. Say, so, hey, do you want to get some exclusive gear? Then activate your. Ubisoft account. Uh, no, no thanks. Back on track. Level 10. Wow. Kind of spoilers there. 
Although I, I do kind of wish the uh, okay, you're working with two people in this game throughout, and it may, they make it sort of kind of difficult to uh, say, hey, I want to level up Evie and Jacob kind of at the same time, or let's say right behind each other. But every time I switch to a different character, basically the game comes out of the pause screen and goes back into like the uh, the game world, and then you have to actually hit pause again to get back to the screen to level them up, and I'm like, yes, uh, they didn't really think that all the way through. <laughs> I mean, they thought it through enough to the point where it's like, okay, this is like confident, but yeah, it's like, if I switch to a character, why can't they just stay on the pause screen and then let me do my thing with that character and then switch back to the other character from the same screen? <laughs> and then let me go back to the game world when I want to go back to the game world. I mean, yeah. <laughs> It is something super simple, but yeah, it's not easy, like way easy to overlook. <laughs> because they probably made this in a rush, like, eh, well, this section anyway. Probably rushed it. <laughs> Alright, so with that, I'm going to get myself a snack, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of already, like, uh, pre-spoiled it, but yeah, pretty much I do kind of over-level my character, so I pretty much get everything, <laughs> eventually. It's like, it happens, I think, late game, though, so, uh, yeah. You know, once those, uh, those fight clubs open up, oh, yeah, open season on XP farming. <laughs>
underground laboratory. This is so Dexter, man. It hurts. <laughs> Not the serial killer Dexter, but the scientist, scientific Dexter. The German one. <laughs> cello. So if, if it sounds like a violin and you think it's a violin, it's a cello. <laughs> it's like really throaty. Sometimes you just have to kind of sit still and listen to the music for a while and absorb, absorb the notes that it's, it's producing because it makes you feel a certain way. Why, Evie? Why? <laughs> wow. It's not exactly the cleanest assignment in the world. <laughs> and now the enemy can smell you a mile away. <laughs> wow. Just like Clancy in uh, Resident Evil. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> And he still gets fucked in the end. <laughs> he tries so hard. He tries so hard, man. He went through all that crap, and then he's like, he just dies in the end. <laughs> so he was the unsung hero of Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Sir David, it cannot be serious. 
Just a wee joke, Reynolds. Once we unlock the artifact's secrets, the Templar's grip on London will be fixed. The assassins will fall. I think it's in this game. It will be little more than a bearded memory. I say that now, I think I did a few missions for him a few days ago. <laughs> Take Darwin, I recognize that name. has been Brewster. Take your time with this, man. Come on. <laughs> you know, at least in uh, Spec Ops The Line, the game actually breaks the fourth wall if you kind of stay still for too long. <laughs> it just says something. It actually comments on you not playing it. <laughs> the shot. Yes, I came. Hopefully the geometry won't screw me over. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. We fight to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. Oh, really? Yeah, we were already on a... The plot now. demands it. gives me a good start, so, yeah. Nearly
a simple plan. Well, actually, I was technically in the air when I threw the dagger at his head. <laughs> so, yeah, technically that was an air assassination. Game's like, no, you have to kill him with your hidden blade for it to be, for it to count, homie. Sorry. What was that explosion? What explosion? EV. A piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob, no, actually, they did. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last Giving hundred years. Giving them flight clubs, man. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Oh. The gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. Wait, are we going you know AWOL? It. Jacob Fry. You might just be right. Yeah. We? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Unity. Arno is listening to Queen. <laughs> oh god, that's a new title I too. I know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean Assassin's and Rebecca. Crew. Acquisition. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Check out the ass Call on Dr. that. <laughs> Come on. Where is Appel? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. <laughs> Once it's Shortest located, I'll ever. let you know. Super. Damn, Rebecca, Always you get an ass sure. too. <laughs> Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look hey, grim. Hey, uh, can you do a quick body roll for me? Master Burke, yeah. <laughs> Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! Yeah, it's hard to take the present seriously when the game does take the present seriously. <laughs> All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find they, something that puts them ahead to be a downer here, but do you know how long it's going to freaking take? Now clearly <laughs> on the line. Good luck. It's like, you have a day. What, 24 hours? Yeah, that's the span of the game. <laughs> 20 hours. <laughs> so I have to liberate London, basically free a bunch of boroughs from Templar Order. Uh, create a gang, become king of a fight club, become king of a underground racing circuit, <laughs> and uh, 
let's see, what else is there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, find all these like artifacts, glyphs, and uh, other things and activities. So I rub elbows with the queen, uh, like uh, chum it up with Darwin and Karl Marx. Listen in on a few uh, speeches here and there. Oh yeah, and, and uh, learn how to drive a horse and carriage because that's good. Cool. I've never seen so many people all at once. The churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Yeah. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen hey, to just what? take my wallet. Oh, oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi, come back here, you filthy dipper! Man, is kick and run. <laughs> Track and field. We just this the target. Dude, the target's like three feet high. <laughs> Fine, you little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. You'll pay for that! I'll enjoy carving you! I'll knock your hat off! Hat fall! Lots of beer. <laughs> Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Oh, hey, Evie. <laughs> Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old. And those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry she's already taken with your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starik sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you <laughs> rallied those car players at the Oakbrook Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. 
You were never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. All right, show me your, uh, show me your backyard. 